So Avi Loeb just dropped a calculation that's honestly kind of insane. He wanted to know how much dust 3 I Atlas is actually throwing off, not guessing, not estimating, actually calculating it from the brightness we can measure. The number he got back, 10 million kilograms in a month. And here's the thing that made him stop and go, wait, what? The size of those dust particles doesn't match what you'd expect from a normal comet. They're bigger, way bigger. The exact size you'd find in a molecular cloud where stars are born. Which raises a question nobody was asking until now. Did this thing pick up dust from somewhere else before it even got here? Subscribe if you want to see where this goes. Because what I'm about to walk you through is going to flip the whole story on its head. Alright, let's break down what Loeb actually did here. He'd already figured out the dust particles in that weird anti-tail are about 10 microns across. Not microscopic, not huge chunks. Right in that middle zone where they scatter sunlight really well. So he looks at how bright the glow around 3i Atlas is, takes the total light output, and works backward to figure out how many particles it would take to create that much reflected sunlight. Turns out, you need about a billion billion particles. 10 to the 18th power. Each one weighs roughly 10 to the negative 8th grams. Do the math, and you end up with 10 million kilograms of dust. Now, that dust doesn't just sit there forever. Solar radiation pushes it away, disperses it. The whole cloud gets blown out in about a month. So the comet had to pump out all that dust in roughly 30 days. That's about 3.3 kilograms every single second. Which, stay with me here, is only about 0.7% of the total gas the comet's venting. Seems small, right? Except that ratio, that 1% dust to gas thing, that's exactly what you see in the space between stars. In the interstellar medium, so far so good. Matches what we'd expect. But here's where it gets weird. Most dust floating around in interstellar space is tiny. We're talking particles smaller than one micron, microscopic grains. But three, I Atlas is chucking out particles that are 10 times bigger. And you know where you find dust that size? Molecular clouds. Those massive dense regions where new stars are forming. That's where 10 micron particles hang out. So Loeb asks the obvious question. What if 3i Atlas flew through one of those clouds at some point during its journey? Think about it. This thing's been traveling for who knows how long. Could be millions of years. Could be billions. We have no idea what route it took or what it passed through on the way here. If it drifted through a molecular cloud at some point, it would have picked up dust just swept it up onto its surface like a car driving through a dust storm. And when it finally heated up near our sun, all that collected material started venting off. Which would explain everything. The particle size, the dust to gas ratio, the chemical fingerprints that don't quite match solar system comets. It's not that 3i Atlas is weird, it's that it's carrying samples from somewhere else. Dust it collected along the way material that formed in a completely different part of the galaxy and just hitched a ride. Now Loeb's careful here. He's not saying this is definitely what happened. He's saying this is one explanation that fits the data. And at the end of his piece, he writes something that I think is really important. Being honest about what we do not know would motivate us to seek answers. Because here's the truth. We don't know if those particles were picked up during travel, or if they're just original surface material with weird chemistry. We don't know where this object formed. We don't know what path it took. We don't know if it passed through molecular clouds, or if it's just naturally different from anything we've studied before. Those are real gaps. Real unknowns. And instead of pretending he has all the answers, Loeb's just laying out what the data shows and admitting where the questions begin. That's honest science, not filling in the blanks with guesses. Just following the math and seeing where it leads. So here's where we actually are. 3i Atlas threw off 10 million kilograms of dust in a month. That dust is made of particles way bigger than normal interstellar grains, and the size matches what you'd find in star-forming regions. That could mean it swept through a molecular cloud and picked up material along the way, or it could mean this comet's natural dust production just happens to look like molecular cloud chemistry because it forms somewhere with totally different conditions than our solar system, we genuinely don't know yet. But the fact that we're asking these questions, the fact that we can calculate dust mass, 
particle size and compare it to different environments in the galaxy? That's wild. Six months ago, this thing was just a dot in a survey image. Now we're debating whether it collected hitchhiker dust from other parts of the Milky Way. If you want to see what comes next, if you want to know what else this thing teaches us as more data comes in, hit subscribe. Turn on notifications. Because 3i Atlas is still out there, still venting, still carrying whatever it picked up on a journey we can barely imagine. And we're just starting to figure out its story. I'll see you in the next one.